I finally got the uh, canister filter for Butterbean's tank. It's a Sun Sun 304B. And this is what you get with it. There's the canister. It's got the um, UV, the, what is it called? A UV light built into it. I rarely use that one on uh, Tootsie's tank. This part here attaches to the hoses and goes right there. This little setup here is for the um, spray bar. I use that. Here's the hoses. And there's also the little package for the intake. I do not use that. Uh, it, it would work fine if you were filling the tank all the way to the top with water, but I have to modify this for the uh, water level in the turtle tank. It's the same thing I did on uh, Tootsie's tank. There's Marvin. And there's Josie. They've got to get in on the action. So... I'm getting ready to, <laughs> to set this up and um, I'll show you what the intake looks like after we get it finished. Josie's, I'm not sure what she's doing, but <laughs> there she is. I actually will be using these two pieces from the intake set. Um, they don't have holes in them. And that's what's going to uh, hook up to the part with the spray bar that's got the holes in it. Okay, here's the basic setup I've got for my spray bar. Um, there were a couple of parts with the holes in it and one elbow that I didn't use. And this joint right here has to be taped up because it doesn't fit tightly which isn't a problem. Everything else is tight. And these here rotate so I can adjust where I want my spray. And next I'll show you the intake. Okay, here's the intake. See, it's just a couple of elbows. There's a barb and a union and just a long piece of pipe with a bunch of holes drilled on the end and the end cap and works very well if you don't do this and you use the original you're going to have problems the uh there's a i don't know how to explain it the uh the air gets in at the top of it and you will not have suction and you have to somehow block that off to keep the air from getting in and it's just easier you can do it. I suppose you could probably tape it off or do something to it. Um, we just decided to go with this method here. Just made something new. And it works fine. This is exactly the same thing we have on Tootsie's tank. Okay, here's everything I got with mine. Four trays. It's got a piece of, uh, I forget what they call that stuff. The filter medium in there. The pad. And the bio rings, bio balls, some thicker filter pads, and carbon. And there we go. Okay, here's my setup. I've got the four baskets. Uh, one of those just has the filter pads. The other one has... Uh, the heavy duty filter pad on the bottom and then two or three white ones. That one's got the, I think those are called bio balls. That one's got the little ceramic rings. I'm not using the carbon. And there's my output, my spray bar. It's got the corner right there is taped. I've used the two pieces from the intake that don't have holes in them. And there's the ones with the holes. The last one has the end capped off. Here's the one we made. It's got a couple of elbows, a joint, a hose barb, straight piece with holes drilled in the end, and an end cap. And I think we're ready to go. We just need to hook up the 
hose, which is right there. We'll hook the hose up to it and put it all in. And hopefully Butterbean will be a happy little camper with his new filter. Okay, after struggling with that filter for a good while, we finally figured out that the gasket was missing. Um, here it is, it's installed in the cabinet. The gasket that goes in that, one of them was missing and it would not prime. Uh, we did might manage to find a spare gasket we had that was a bit smaller, but it worked and it got primed and also the where the lid fits onto the base, that plastic had some rough places and it would not seal. So I had a couple of leaks around the side. Took us a very fine piece of sandpaper and I sanded those down smooth and then it sealed. But it was it was really frustrating and quite a pain. And Butterbean was not happy about all the moving around and carrying on around her tank. So she's, she hid herself behind the filters for a while. She's just now coming out. You probably can't see her little heads popped up back there. She's, she's propped herself up beside the intake. That's her new favorite place to stay. And here is the spray bar. I've got it under the water. You can see it's got a lot of nice movement and it's quiet. Uh, on Tootsie's tank, she likes to get up in that water flow and play in that sometimes. And uh, also the catfish enjoy it. So I'll leave it under there like that. Every once in a while, if the water needs to be stirred up a bit, I'll, those little uh, bars are adjustable and I'll twist it to where some of the water comes up and makes a little spray. And I'm leaving her old filters in there for probably a couple weeks to seed that new filter at least a couple of weeks um, this will be quiet this tank will be really quiet once I take those out that's where all the noise is coming from and so there you go it's already cleaning the tank very well we did stir it up quite a bit when we were messing with it and uh, moving it around Tootsie was, uh, Butterbean was not happy. I keep calling her Tootsie, but her name's Butterbean. So here you go. I hope if you set one of, one of these filters up, this will help you. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a nice filter once you get it going. I have had problems. I've got two of these, and I've had problems with both of them and the gaskets. So uh, I'm going to really try to find some spare gaskets to keep on hand. And if I ever bought another one, I would check the gasket before I would uh, try to use it and because it, it made a real mess with that water leaking all over the place. So that's just my suggestion. Um, I hope this is helpful to you.